Alright everybody, this is a 3v3, and if you're a connoisseur of the YouTube, then you're going to be super psyched, because this game has three of your favorite YouTube personalities in it. Playing as Prussia, right here, this is me, my name is Jay Martin, thanks for watching. And in the middle is none other than Riskard, who runs the YouTube channel Riskard. And on the far left of our line is a guy named Point Man who also does some YouTube work. So you've got three YouTube voices staring at you right there. Uh, that's me, Jay Martin, that's Risk Artist, Sweet in the Middle, and Point Me at a Source from Left. Now, what's kind of fun about this game, and the only reason I'm posting this game, is that, you know, we were kind of bored or whatever, and Risk Artist was like, all right, I got one for you. And Point Man was like, okay, what? And Risk Artist said, the challenge is you have to play with... 10 militia units. Now, you can bring whatever else you want, but you have to bring 10 militia. Now, the rules of this game are no artillery 5 lights, so I suppose the rules of the game were must bring 10 militia, cannot bring artillery, can only bring 5 lights. And so, what these guys have got, let's zoom in a risk card, look at all this militia. They got chevrons, look at all that militia, they got chevrons. Well, there's two mounted Jaegers, there's Excuse me, there's a lifeguard of horse, there's a lifeguard of foot, and a general unit, and I believe, uh, oh, there's another Mounted Jaeger. So, I think that we're up to three Mounted Jaegers, one lifeguard of horse, one lifeguard of foot, and a general staff unit. And a point man over here, man, look at all this militia, they look great. Look at that. I mean, so much militia. Point man has brought one, two, three four mounted rifles and what's a, a general staff what else has he got come on a little militia i only see militia oh those are jaegers he has jaegers in front so point man has some uh shooter cav and um, jaegers going with him now uh so this is the game i'm gonna zoom back out so you can get it i'm the prussian guy on the, on the right that's risk guard, that's point man. And our opponents, I might have these in reverse order, but our opponents were playing as Ottoman, I believe, is Stein Aker Kurt. I'm probably completely mispronouncing that. In the middle is Agmer playing as GB. And on the left is playing also as Ottomans, numeral one, JGL seven. Oh, 07. Now, I know what I did in this battle. And what I did in this battle is really boring. I have some light of tree and I shoot them up and I charge Cav and yada 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 yada. But what I'm really interested in is what these two guys do with their must have 10 militia builds. Because I didn't play by the rules. I didn't go along with their little challenge, the little challenge that Risk Guard had for Point Man. And I was like, what do these guys do? Let's look at Point Man's opponent here. Point Man's opponent has some rifles, looks about six line, got some line of reserve, brought grenadiers, and only two lancers. Oh, there's a third lancer. And then Riskard's opponent looks to be a bit more traditional. Um, it looks to me like two light foot, three rifle, and then a lot of line. There's only two cav units. Now, when you're playing only militia, like these two guys are, your biggest fear is cav, right? Because militia can't form squares, so militia are pretty useless against cav. And you'll notice in their two respective strategies, Point Man brought Jaegers, and Riskard brought cav. So, uh, I'm not I'm not really sure what they, I. They, what was kind of funny is, before the game, I was like, "Come on, tell me, tell me your strategy. Tell me what you're thinking." And both of them refused. And what's kind of interesting is both of them brought completely different strategies. Point man here has brought the right the Jaegers, and Riskard has brought the the Cav. And um, what's a little is it insulting? I don't know. But Riskard actually sends his cav to help me out. And I kind of wanted to be like, uh, dude, I have a regular army. I can totally fucking handle this. 
But um, he's such a sweetheart. I mean, he's really just he's really just a big sweetheart. And uh, Riskard sent his cab to support me, which I think is really sweet. Uh, so that's what happens. And it looks like the point man is uh, getting some Jaegers. Oh, he's getting great shots off against those Cav. And is he, yeah, he's going to retreat. Well, he got a free volley off. I'm never, Oh, he did like 12 casualties there. Nice work, man. That's actually maybe a good move because Cav is the biggest threat. So if you can get some free shots on Cav, why not, right? Why the fuck not? Nice move point. And he's moving his Jaegers into position in the front of the line. Uh, Riskard is adopting more heavy-handed strategy. He has a full line of militia up there. And I actually thought that these two guys... I mean, if you told me to bring an army of nothing but militia, then I would bring, like, the nine-star general. And both of these guys brought the regular general. There was some action over on my side of the line. My guy is, like, cav rushed me on both sides. And uh, I look at that. Look at Riskard's Cav. Man, that's so polite. He's brought Cav over to help me. Um, anyway, I form square. I think my guy does route uh, my meat shield. I had a meat shield in front of my light of tree, and he gets that, um, and causes some disturbance amongst my lights. I'll concede. Caught me by surprise. Um, but what's going to happen is I'm going to route four of his Cav units for the price of uh, that uh, landwear unit, and some small disturbance in my lights. And the result of that is going to be pretty good for me because my guy doesn't have any cav anymore. People, please stop just mad rushing your cav at the beginning of a battle. So that was the sort of initial opening. My guy rushed four cav units. We've killed them all now. And I'm getting my line reformed. And uh, he doesn't have any cav left, so that should be good for me. Um, what are these guys doing? So... Riskard is playing with his Mounted Jaegers. Mounted Jaegers are really great. Never played with Sweden. Try them out. Try the Mounted Jaegers. And um, a point man is getting his game on here. He is uh, obviously charged a cav unit and is retreating them. He's retreating two cav units. He's got his friends in the square. Now he has a problem. That's a cav charge. And he can't form square. He can't do it. But what point man has done is he's got sort of multiple lines or multiple ranks in his army and um, when cav units charge like this he's able to put supporting fire up in his lines if he can't form square that's not really the end of the world um, but what you need to do is to be able to have units in reserve to shoot and Pointman has, a, frankly, a ton of firepower available there. He's got his first rank that's being charged. He's got one, two, three, you know, four units in reserve that can fire there. And um, th this is actually going bad for the Ottoman player. I mean, he's losing against uh, uh, the militia. And w what I'll think you'll find... Oh, here, what is that? Oh, Grenadiers going for melee. Grenadiers in for melee. Bad news, they get caught by mounted rifles. And um, what 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 you're gonna see is that if Point Man could turn this guy's flank, then he's gonna roll the whole army. That's kind of what's going on. Riskard is being a little cautious in the middle. Um, uh, bold move, frankly. His opponent has light infantry. He doesn't. So uh, what's Riskard doing? Nobody really knows. On my side, I'm attacking hard on the right, and you can see that I'm winning on the right flank. Um, I have my cav in there because now I have a cav advantage. And I think before too long, what happens is my opponent rage quits. And um, I guess if you look at the mini-map, you'll notice some erratic behavior from the... There he goes, this general. You'll notice some erratic behavior from this player that indicates that the AI is coming in. Look at Riskard's cav coming in to help me out again. Again. God, what a sweetheart. Oh, I love him. Okay. But back at the rest of the battle, as we zoom over, uh, Point Man has beat off that cav attack, and uh, there comes some more. Point Man's charging right there. Good for him. And he's kind of in a shootout right now. And what he's going to use to win that shootout is um, the few cav units that he has. And look at that. The, there's two cav units going in. 
and uh, it looks like he's doing really well. I just routed a unit, and he's moving on to the next one. And um, I mean, give this guy mud, and he can make you a pie. I mean, he's managed to use his militia unit there with the help of a couple of his calves to route the left side of his opponent's line. And and now what he's going to do is he's going to move a proponents of firepower, classical Napoleon tactics, into get shots. And it looks like he's doing a wonderful job. Uh, Riscard, on his point, uh, has decided to engage. It looks like his opponent... I might be wrong about this. His opponent has made a wide decision. Wise decision. And his opponent has realized, holy fuck, this guy just has fucking militia. I'm going to melee the fuck out of them. Which probably is exactly what I would have done. Um... The thing that Riscard has going for him is the same thing that Point Man has, is that he has a second line. I mean, yeah, they'll go more Kev, but they're going to run it. Yeah. Anyway, R what Riscard has is a second line of units firing into the front line of his units. And so, uh, although Riscard has an obvious disadvantage here, um, he's making up for it by supporting the weakness of Eunice's units, units with other weak units, which actually works, believe it or not. Um, on my side of the map, I've routed my opponent, and I'm bringing guys in to help Riskard out. Uh, he probably didn't need it. I'm going to go with he didn't need it. But uh, that's what I was doing. And uh, you can see Riskard engaged all along the front there. And Point Man has completely, completely destroyed his opponent all starting with that big left flank there. And the Ottoman player only has about five units left, and Point Man is moving on that. He's being very patient. I think that's a very underrated skill, is just sort of being patient with things. And uh, Riskard is right now able to double and triple up on firepower on his opponent's units, and he's running them. These guys really, I think, pulled off the 10 militia strategy by using their cav very intelligently. I mean, these are very good Napoleon players, and if they can beat you with 10 militia units, I mean, they can beat you with anything. And the way that the two of them were able to pull off uh, their 10 militia game was by very careful use of their cav. Anyway, so that's the end of the battle. Uh, Riskard's finishing his guy off. Uh, Point Man's finishing his guy off. And I'm just running over to try to help them. So we're going to say, hey, great game to the guys who played with us. To uh, Stein, Akerkurt, and Angmar, and 1GPL707. And, of course, Riskard and Point Man for playing with me. Thanks a lot, guys. And uh, I had a great time. And maybe you should try out the 10 Militia strategy. Just try it out. And look at all those kills. Man, Riscard, you killed it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.